check this out guys i have the ducati desert x with me uh this is the this is not my motorcycle this is not a motorcycle of a friend this is ducati india's motorcycle and i am running it in so today the objective is i am taking it to work i just picked up the motorcycle last night and it's a fairly simple enough motorcycle with a lot of electronics uh 937cc l twin 110 horsepower 92 newton meters of torque very retro styling so um, this motorcycle the styling is an homage to the kajiva 900 kajiva was a small italian manufacturer way back in the 80s 90s so they owned ducati at one point of time they raced the dakar with their Kajiwa 900, they won in 1990, 1994, and they ran the Ducati 900 engine in it. So this motorcycle, you know, the styling, it's very reminiscent of that Kajiwa 900. Uh, this is a kitted out motorcycle. Ducati's put the upper crash bars on it. It's got the massive skid plate. You have the uh, handguards, aluminium here, this part is plastic so you know in case of a crash this will fall and break maybe a full wrap around aluminium bug buster would be better beautiful looking exhaust i think the way this exhaust is this is the favorite favorite part you know the design element on this motorcycle 21 inch fuel tank 230 mm of travel at the front 220 at the rear oh i can adjust uh i think the this would be the rebound most likely i can adjust it directly from here uh i can adjust the compression and the rebound from up here uh brembo m50 calipers check this out the fucking thought of everything so when you're on the road you can have your foot uh, the brake lever positioned here so this is slightly lower when you're doing off-road you can have it slightly higher so that you know your foot is able to reach over here it's got some six riding modes i'm not going to explore all those riding modes right now um right now i'm just going to commute to work uh just just funny you know look at how this is this is just a very very modern motorcycle it's very simple looking but very modern 21 inch fuel tank so we will be able to do 350 kilometers on a tank easily uh the best spot the best spot 21 inch front 18 rear i love dirt bike sized wheels because you know then you could put dirt bike style rubber on it uh i think this is running the scorpion rally str these are very road focused tires they look a little off-roadish but they're very road focused so it should be easy on the road um yeah let it idle for a little bit i'm gonna still talk a little bit about the motorcycle i wish i wish you know there was a little bit more to mount luggage without you know having to put panniers on because i'm gonna take this motorcycle to my village in a couple of days and i wish i had you know a little bit of easier access maybe i'll use my rock straps i'll tie them down here and i'll tie them down here have a tail bag and that should be enough for three days uh it has a button for heated grips but no heated grips themselves so what's up ducati what's up with that uh brake and clutch levers they are adjustable there here hydraulic clutch nice um so ducati did not give me a demo of anything because i reached the showroom at 9 pm i just picked up the keys from the guard the modes are very easy to understand very easy and very intuitive you have a dedicated abs turn off button over here i like it you can control the headlights from here like you want drls you just let the drls run you want um, uh, you know full lights high beam whatever you can control stuff from here easy now there is so much here to like there is so much here to like now look at this the tank seems wide but look at how narrow the seat is it's so 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 narrow it's like dirt bike narrow now what happens is when you know um 
Now this motorcycle has an 875 millimeter seat height, but I think the seat height is 865 for India. I'm not very sure about that. I have to check with Ducati. Uh, once they tell me in a detailed video that I'll make about this motorcycle, I'll tell you guys that. I don't know yet. Uh, so some people will think it's a very tall bike. Now I'm not exceptionally tall or anything. I'm five foot ten. I am flat footing this bike. Flat footing both legs. I don't think that matters by the way. I just do not think that matters at all whether you can flat foot a motorcycle or not. Now look at the distance between the cockpit and me. Full full rally vibes. You know the windscreen is uh, narrow so expect wind buffeting but it's far away from you. It just has that very Dakarish feel you know mirrors are very mickey mouse i like them i really like them um the hand uh, steering dampener the handlebar is i feel it's rolled back quite a bit for road riding right now if uh, i think i'm gonna move the handlebars up maybe have them somewhere over here just just have them somewhere over here so that they are on top of the suspension and they are higher the levers are lower so standing up and riding would be easier for me dash is simple enough to understand uh, you've got your rev counter fuel gauge uh, air temperature you've got time uh, neutral gear indicator speed total number of kilometers on the odo and your range 409 uh, because they gave it to me with a tank full of gas uh, thank you to Gali for that and um, yeah, I've only did what 15, 16, 17 kilometers. Okay, let's get riding. First gear and we roll. So, you know, one of the things that I really like it, it's a very light feeling motorcycle. Now, this bike is 202 kilos dry, about 223 wet, uh, curb weight. But it's light, man, it feels light. So, again, uh, it might just feel like an exaggeration when I say this, but it feels like it's 100 kilos lighter than my Tiger 1200 Explorer, the 2017. Uh, on paper, it would be about 60 odd kilos lighter than the Tiger, but it feels 100. Fully fueled up, of course. Easy bike to get used to. And this is what I like about motorcycles, man. You know, these new modern motorcycles, they're getting smaller. They're getting lighter, smaller, easier. Nobody's focusing on giving them extra power. They're focusing on the right things. Make it more usable. And this bike has a very, very, very commanding... Uh-uh. Come on, okay. This bike has a very commanding riding position. So I sit so tall, the bar is very wide. You know, so you feel like a king on the road. You feel, it, this feels like an SUV, really, um, when you're riding it on the road. Because this motorcycle is only done 427 kilometers, maybe, you know, once the first service happens, finding neutral would be slightly easier. Right now, um, I have to be very careful, just a slight dab on the gear lever for it to slot into neutral. Riding position is easy, comfortable, easy, very easy, very, very, very easy. It's a bike that, you know, I've only ridden for 17 kilometers and it feels like it's my motorcycle. I've been riding it for a while. Now, that's a very big compliment. Now, I'm going to say something very controversial, which maybe even Ducati won't like, but this, this bike is so easy. It is so easy, it feels like a Himalayan with more power. The new Himalayan 450 with a lot more power and a little bit more sophistication, you know. Because it's just so damn easy to ride and that's the biggest compliment. That it doesn't feel intimidating, it feels easy. Nimble, nimble, very nimble. Uh, but I don't also want to keep talking about specifications i thought you know mentioning some specifications is important because there's just so much kit on this bike there's so much electronics six ride modes uh multiple levels of traction control wheelie control 
ABS, multiple levels. I mean, <laughs> if you're doing it, do it like that. Like, do it right. And then you can turn everything off. So that's the best part, right? You don't like it, you turn it off. You uh, want that safety net, you turn it all back on. Easy, I like it. Uh, it sounds a little too muted though. Because uh, I couldn't notice the uh, exhaust sound so far. It's... Uh, Maybe, but <laughs> we haven't given it any gas yet, right? So, let's see. We'll give it a little bit of gas. Uh, yeah, it's... Look at the paint quality. Beautiful, beautiful ceramic white. Very nice. And the tank is very short. So, most bikes have a longer, lengthier tank. So, the tank is short. So, I'm riding. I think coming up front would be easier. Putting weight at the front, moving your whole body towards the front, in a corner, off-road. I think so, I think so. Again, oh, USB charger over here so I can mount a phone, have navigation, etc. Good, good, good. Convenient. Very convenient. Uh, I don't think my 360 is working. Anyway, it doesn't matter. As long as the GoPro is. So, right now, So we are in full power mode, sport mode I think. Oh, nice. It's fun. <laughs> Are yaar. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, and you know what? This is a very long motorcycle. Very, very, very long motorcycle. I think uh, last night I parked it next to my Tiger. It was longer than the Tiger 1200. Uh, the front is raked out. I think it's got a 27.6 uh, degree rake and that's that's a dirt bike rake angle. That's a dirt bike rake angle. So extremely planted it should feel. It does right now. It does it does feel very stable. We are yet to see how that translates to off-road riding but this is about a commute in the city. Office commute. Office morning commute. Hey, power man, it has power. You will not you will not be disappointed with the power on this bike. It's got enough power. It's a Ducati, it cannot be it cannot be boring, right? It's a fucking Ducati. Okay, we'll slow down for the speed cam. Tractable motor. Okay, so this is an uphill, okay? Fourth gear. I'm in the city doing 50. Very tractable. Very, very, very easy motor. Easy motor. It's enough. You don't need a bigger engine. Uh, yeah, you don't need a bigger engine. Uh, it has a quick shifter, I'm sure. Uh, I've not been using it. <laughs> it has a quick shifter. Uh, I don't know if it's an up and down quick shifter or only an up only quick shifter. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, I don't want to figure it out by just uh, simply downshifting. Uh, without using the clutch right now. What if it doesn't? Anyway. How is this bike so light feeling, yaar? But I, you know what I feel? Um, so I've been riding big bikes for almost a decade now. Uh, I feel somebody who's been biking for a year or two maybe on a Himalayan it should be okay that person will be able to get on this bike and ride it first go it won't feel difficult uh, and that's that's what I like you know it's just easy yeah this thing will make your morning commute fun <laughs> but um, there is a lot of wind noise there's not buffeting as such it's not like you know uh, my head is shaking around it's not that speed um, we'll test that again but I felt like uh, there was a little bit of wind noise 
so I I do know this that Ducati also makes a taller windscreen um, as an accessory if you want it uh, you can get that if it bothers you too much the wind noise I think it will be a little tiresome the wind noise because if you're touring and if you're not in that frame of mind where you just want to push the bike um, yeah the noise will start to bother you the other option is just wear um, your plugs you know and you'll be fine quality bike they've got these extenders this is an accessory I know uh, these uh, transparent extenders so wind really stays off your uh, knuckles and fingers top of your hands so even though it doesn't have heated grip heated grips we'll find out because I'm headed to my village in Uttarakhand soon so it'll give me a fair idea it'll give me a fair idea of you know because how cool does it get there definitely cooler than Delhi it would be I'm really sitting a lot taller, higher than you know what I do on the Tiger. It's noticeable, um, and I like it. I like it. I'm able to see over cars easier than the Tiger. And uh, you know what I say about the Tiger? It's the most comfortable motorcycle out there. This this wouldn't be as comfortable as the Tiger, I would say, but it's not bad. It's still comfortable enough. Sajiga is like a sofa, it's not like a sofa because uh, you know uh, narrow motorcycle wind hitting you so but um, it's built for a larger guy clearly um, hands are nice and comfortable elbows are bent uh, good proportions so the seat to foot peg uh, distance is decent no awkward you know bending of the knee so pegs are slightly low, uh, seat is high, you sit comfortable, commanding position and comfortable and the pegs are right under you, so that's that's a good thing, okay let's see, oh man the seat is so narrow, okay let's not, let's not be, a, be the idiot who rides on the road standing up, but yeah, <laughs> easy. Now guys I'm not reviewing this motorcycle okay, uh, I'm not. I'm not a reviewer, I'm just a guy who likes riding motorcycles and uh, you can read the specifications everywhere, uh, reviewers will do a far better job of telling you what this motorcycle can do, I just want to share my feelings with you on what I feel when I ride this bike, oh fun, oh brakes are good, good feedback, good feedback, I mean they're not uh, as sharp as my street triple which run a generation older caliper m40 but they don't need to be it's not a sports bike it can ride like one but it's still not a sports bike so it, they don't this bike doesn't need brakes like that also it has to ride off-road no i watched uh, some reviews of this motorcycle because not some actually a lot of them because I was very intrigued uh, when Ducati first announced and launched this motorcycle they had a lot of press material where you'd see this bike on a motocross track you know flying around like an MX bike uh, and it has the right kind of kit something that I would want in my motorcycle basically a dirt bike that can do long distance comfortably this is that this is exactly that this is a 50 50 motorcycle it's a big 50 50 bike 50 on road 50 off road it's very comfortable on the road it's very smooth okay um, it's very very smooth the refinement levels are very high uh, it's it's not my tiger smooth because tiger is just that just very creamy linear now this bike is also linear but um, that Tiger it doesn't even have any hint of vibrations the 1200 this is not like that but I feel that is what makes it better because you know 
I'm not saying it has vibrations, it doesn't, but it feels more characterful, it feels more playful. Fun man, fun, fun bike. Now, what remains to be seen is whether this motorcycle heats up uh, a lot in traffic. It's a Ducati and uh, being a Ducati, it should. <laughs> but is it livable? Is, is it livable with? Is it bearable? We will find out. Uh, it's winters here in Delhi, so maybe not now, but someday later. Uh, probably on my commute back from work, I'm gonna get stuck in like crazy traffic. Maybe we'll figure out then. Uh, going to work, it's still slightly easier. Yeah. But man, such like I'm able to I'm able to look over every vehicle on the road, apart from that ambulance. But yeah, uh, nice, <laughs> very commanding, very commanding. It's crazy that um, a Ducati is this easy to ride. And very tractable bike, yaar. Matlab, easy hai. The seat will definitely take getting used to, that is for sure. Uh, feels a little hard right now. Entertaining bike for sure. So one thing I did not mention um, while riding because it didn't really I didn't really get to use it, but um, the turning radius is um, has to be very small. Even though the wheelbase is so long, the steering lock to lock angle is very generous. I'll demonstrate it once I get to work. Um, I, I it's easy. Uh, it's easy to park. There is no center stand on this bike. So, you could buy that as an optional extra from Ducati uh, if you want to set the start of your bike. Uh, just, you know, thought that I'll speak of when you park the bike. So, you can uh, get a set the start. I'm, uh, if, I'm sure Ducati probably offers heated grips as optional. If not, you can get Oxford heated grips. They don't uh, cost a lot of money. Um, money, I don't know what the on-road price is. I know that X showroom, it is about 18 lakh rupees, which is slightly pricier than the Tiger 900 Rally Pro. But it's okay if you're spending 20 lakh rupees on a motorcycle. It's 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 never a rational decision, right? Um, if if you're spending that kind of money, if you're spending 15, if you're spending 17 lakh rupees on road, uh, if you like this better, if you like the styling better spend that extra 3 lakh rupees if you have 17 you have 20 you can stretch up to 20 also it's it's not the decision that is being made from the head because if you're making it from your head you'd end up buying a smaller bike you wouldn't buy a big bike so yeah so it's about what the heart wants and not what the brain says if the heart wants a ducati uh, a ducati is a ducati it's an italian motorcycle it's always going to be a rare bike on the road it won't be it won't it definitely will not sell as many volumes as let's say a tiger so it's okay uh, pay a little extra premium but get what you want because here it's not the most a big bike is not a rational decision so the video can cut off at any point of time uh, raw first riding impressions commuting easy i like it it's something that you can commute with daily uh, <laughs> yeah and then what this bike is meant for we shall explore that over the weekend, long distance travel and the trail.
how does it do off road in the hands of a common average rider such a track such an easy like it doesn't feel like it has 110 horses by the way <laughs> you ride like this feels like a 40 horse power motorcycle because uh, oh yeah <laughs> now it does but <laughs> this is easy the linear uh, feels nice and then you know uh, because of the l engine which is basically a v twin engine with a uh, with the cylinders placed uh, at an angle of 90 degrees to each other, perpendicular to each other and that is why the L shape, the L engine instead of a V uh, it feels like when the power comes in, the torque comes in, it feels like oh shit, <laughs> it feels like you've been hit by a sledgehammer I mean, someone hit and boom, it's just power, power coming in Are entertaining bike, really entertaining bike <laughs> <laughs> this is this is nice. This is nice. Matlab, 20 lakh rupees lagaye aur bike mein agar entertainment nahi mila, then what's the point? Nice. I like. I really like it. Biking is the reason why I go to work with a smile on my face every day, man. I think I'll ride it uh, next to a few other bikes with my friends to figure out, you know, how it feels compared to those bikes. But uh, for now, as a standalone motorcycle, I really like it in the city. Uh, if I had 20 lakh rupees today, I would probably be picking this up because, uh, I mean, you know, no bike is a bad bike. Clearly, nobody makes a bad motorcycle, especially when you're paying 20 lakh rupees. There is no chance that it's going to be a bad motorcycle. They're all going to be different flavors. If you want, uh, you know, uh, if we're talking in the adventure space, if you want a motorcycle that, you know, is purely focused on road touring, uh, you can pick up a Tiger 900 GT, uh, the one with, you know, the 1917 wheel combo, cast wheels. Um, if you want a little bit more off-road capability, you know, like road riding but can do dirt, uh, you can get the Tiger 900 Rally Pro with the 2117 combo. If you want to do a little bit more dirt and, you know, have a little bit more fun off-road, you can get this, the Ducati Desert X. They're all different flavors. They're all good bikes. Just, just uh, everything serves a slightly different purpose. They'll all do everything, just that some bikes will do some things better than the others and some things worse than the other. But by worse than the other doesn't mean that, you know, they'll do it poorly. They'll still do it. They'll still do it well. So get the bike you want, man. You have money. You have 17 lakh rupees. I'm sure you can manage 20 lakh rupees also. Get the Ducati if you want. Because this is a very nice bike. But obviously, in the city at speeds that I'm doing, wind buffeting is not a factor. I'm sure you know that and I don't need to tell you that. It's just that this is so silent. It's so silent. Where is the engine? Where is the exhaust sound? This Ducati will Okay, so this is the parking and uh, <laughs> I made a jugaad for the parking last night. Are I can park here? No, I can't. Ha, ah, nice. Are yaar, but then these guys will try and take the bike out. 
कैसे करेंगे ओके एटलीस्ट लेट बी शो यू द टर्निंग रेडियस दैन डाल के देखते हैं सी दिस सच अ जेनरस लॉक so i left my interceptor here yesterday so that um, you know i left my interceptor here yesterday so that i can move this out and create parking space for it but yeah uh check this out narrow bike very 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 narrow bike okay um <coughs> i want to end this video here इसको कोई छेड़ेगा तो नहीं ना किसी को हाथ में लगाने देना इसको हाँ <coughs> क्या नहीं है नहीं, है। नहीं।, है। नहीं। तो यहाँ लगा तू हाँ वैसे कोई छेड़ेगा नहीं कुछ से कौन कौन छेड़ेगा वो उधर से साइड से निकाल लेगा यार इसको कौन ही लाएगा I'm still gonna leave the lock on so that people don't mess with it. This uh, uh, 21 by lock key. Ha. Huh. Time to end this video. I'm at work. We got to go up now. I would have preferred to put it inside. But yeah, no space. Oh, let me call Ankit and let me see if I can put it there.